Okay, my name is April Bach. I am a fourth grade teacher at Black Mountain Elementary School and today we're talking about fourth grade and what we're going to do for the first week. So the first week we are talking about how our country was formed and a lot of things that are going on right now currently in our society, we're getting to see how those things are forming and who has control over what different types of economies and how they're taking effect locally versus federally over the entire area. So our groups are formed when they moved from Europe. Initially they began in Europe and came over on the Mayflower. So during that time, when they came here, they showed up with virtually nothing. They had just what they could carry and only what they could get on the ship and what they could afford to bring, which was probably just the clothes on their back. So different groups, one group got here and then they said, you know, we could make more money if we could get other people to come here too. So they started sending people down the coast of like Africa and up into Spain and trying to get more people to come to America. But when they got here, there was so much diversity in the way that people thought and what they believed. And you might have one person who is one particular religion and another group of people next door that were a completely different religion. And people started seeing a trend of, they weren't so easily accepting of each other. So they landed in two different places. Um, in, six, in, 16, in the 1600s, the colonies first came to Jamestown, Virginia, and then they had another colony that formed lower down, which they called the South, and that was in New England. William Penn then came along in 1681. So it started in the 1600s, early in the 1600s. Then William Penn came along and said that he's going to start recruiting some of these people who have settled wherever they landed to come to his new place, which is now called Pennsylvania. In these diff with these different colonies and these different groups forming, they needed some sort of guidance for government. People wanted to hold them accountable for things. If someone stole something from someone, they said somebody should be responsible for that. And therefore, we had our first forming of some type of a government, someone who controlled the population by saying, you know, this is not okay, and this is okay, and it's okay to trade for something. It's not okay to steal anything. It also, you couldn't just talk to just your own colony. You had to talk to all the people who were there before you. So not only did these governments start from all these people coming from Europe and different places down the coast, and there was already people here that were migrating up from Mexico and other places like that. So when they all came, they're, they all had very different beliefs, very different guidelines as to what is acceptable and what's not acceptable. So, if you were to look at our society now, we kind of still have the same thing going on. However, our government, our formation of government, has given us a set of rules that everybody follows, that everybody has a part in. And if you don't like something that a rule has made, you have that opportunity to say, you know, this isn't okay. I don't like this law and I think it should be different. And you have a particular person that you can go to to say, hey, we don't like this law. And they will come and we will go to them. They won't come to us, most likely, but it's happened. But if there's something that you don't like or there's something that you don't agree with, there's always someone that you can speak with or send a letter to or anything to communicate email now. Now we have email. And you can call to, to let them know that you disapprove of that. And there's a process to go through. And all of these processes and all of these communications that we have to talk to someone to change the rules began at the very lowest part when we first came over. And it's adapted and adapted and adapted as more and more people have arrived and been become part of our society. So 
One of the things that you are tasked with for this week is to go through and ask the people that you live with, your family, your friends, you can call them and ask them. But I have some questions and you'll get it digitally as well if you're on that part, if that's what you're doing and you're not doing a packet. But if you're not doing the computer and you have a packet and you have the opportunity to see this video, I have an assignment for you and it's a fun one because you're gonna learn how to do things or you're gonna learn more about your family than you knew before. So. Your first question, you're gonna go around and you're gonna ask your family and friends four questions. The first question is, what country are their ancestors from? Do they know where their ancestors came from initially? And if they don't, say, well, what, what kind of ancestry do you know about? How far back can you go? The second question you're gonna ask are what rights do you think all people should have. That means not just you personally, but what do you think, what does your family think about what rights they should have? What is, should be given to them automatically? Any person. Your third question is, what do you think life was like before coming to America? So what does your family or your friends think about what life was like before they came here. Do they know? Do they have an idea of maybe what they think it is? The last question is just for you, not for your friends and not for your family. So this question is for you to look over the answers that you receive from your family and your friends. And you're gonna ask yourself what of those answers help you to come up with the ideas of the same answers for yourself. So then you're gonna look at their answers to your questions that you asked, and then you're gonna write your own answers. After you've talked to them, you're gonna write down your own answers for each of the questions for one through three, okay? The idea here is for you to expand your mind and what you already know, what you think should be later, and give you a better understanding of where we came from so that when we get into it next week, you have somewhere to start with.